In this video I'm going to show you how to install iMod on Windows. Step one is to go to the iMod site. Here we scroll down to the bottom and we click Users Guide. And so here are the instructions for the installation. Unlike Linux and Mac OS, Windows requires us to install a Unix-like program called Sigwin before we install iMod. I'd highly recommend you download and use this minimal package of Sigwin provided. So I've downloaded that now to my desktop. While that downloads, I might as well download the iMod package. So back to the iMod page, then go to Downloads. And here I find the latest stable iMod package for Windows. Now as this downloads, you may also want to take the chance to download a sample iMod file so that you actually have something to open. You could also download the tutorial files below this. Okay, so now everything has downloaded. I first need to install Sigwin. When I click on the self-unzipping package, I'm actually going to unzip it to C drive, install, I can delete this later. And the reason I'm unzipping it here is it actually found you can have problems if you unzip it to the desktop with uh, the length of the file path. Shouldn't be a problem, but it is. So I've installed it here, and I'm going to run the setup program. Now usually you'd install from the internet, but David's already included the files we need, so we select install from local directory. Um, by default it installs to C batch Sigwin, and I'll stick with this. Uh, here we have to specify where the installation files are when we select the Sigwin master directory. Click next. And here we're going to click on this little arrow until it shows install. So it's now going to install everything and this will take a few minutes. So now this is finished. It's created a Sigwin desktop icon and also this Sigwin directory. So now I'm going to run Sigmin. First time we run it actually creates a default user folder for us. So using Unix commands I can type in pwd to see where we are and ls to list the files in that directory. So as I said, the first time we run Sigwin it actually creates its default directory. All we have to do in our next step is drag across our imod installation file which ends with a .csh extension. Now back in Sigwin the only important step to install imod, first of all we see it exists, to install it we type in csh and then the name of the file. Once we hit enter, this will install iMod. We enter Y to proceed. And this will take a little while, but not very long. I should probably start by pointing out where iMod installs. We go to User Local iMod. And if we go inside the bin directory, you can actually start 3D Mod directly from this executable. This isn't the best way to start 3D Mod, really. The best way is to type 3D mod into uh, Sigwin. Now it won't work the first time Sigwin's run, you actually have to restart Sigwin and now it will work as before. However, an even faster way of, of starting up 3D mod is as follows. Let's extract this sample data set. A faster way to open is to type in 3D mod, then drag in the name of the MRC file and then the name of the model file you can put after that. And so this will open up 3D mod file with the given MRC and the given model file. And I'm ready to go ahead and start using 3D mod to create my models. You can also open eTermo. Note for this you have to make sure uh, you have Java Virtual Machine installed. Termo can take a little while to load on Windows I've found. The next step from here, just to prove a point, can now delete the install directory, it was only temporary, and we can also download these installation files if we need extra space. From now on, we will run Sig or 3D mod should be run using Sigwin. And that's it, iMod is now installed.